Okay, so we're going to look at how do we write the equation for a circle. That's what we're going to start with today. So the idea is that we have different types of equations. We have linear equations, which are functions, because we can uh, draw a vertical line and it only crosses through in one spot. But we also have these things called circles. And, you know, like we have our y-axis and our x-axis. Normally we put the y at the top, it doesn't really matter. And those axi go on forever. And we have a circle. We can draw a vertical line anywhere through that circle. And except for the two spots at the end, it's going to cross through in more than one spot, which means it's not a function. But then we come back to the question of how do we write the equation for a circle? So the idea being is that we have this thing called the center. And at the center, we have at some point, say, maybe one negative two. This is, of course, not drawn to scale. That's not really important, though. Okay, and then we have some other point, maybe right here. And let's say this point right here is the point uh, four and um, two. Again, we're not necessarily draw, uh, drawing this to scale, so don't just trust the measurements that we're looking at. But we have those two points. In order to write the equation for the circle, we need two pieces of data. We need the center, which is h and k in the equation. I'll write the equation down here in a second. But that's where the circle is centered at. So in this particular case, the center of this circle is at 1, negative 2. Right? The second piece we need is the radius, which is r. And that is the distance from the center to any point. And I do have to stress that word, any point. So I have one point. Maybe I have a whole bunch of other points as well, but I have that one point right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the, to find the radius, I need to find the distance between these two points, which is I'm just simply going to use my distance formula. So I'm going to subtract my x's, so 4 minus 1 squared plus negative 2 um, minus 2 squared. I actually guess I did that second one backwards. doesn't really matter because we're squaring it, so the negatives are going to disappear anyway on us. So I get 3 squared plus 4 squared. So that is 9 plus 16, which means I have the square root of 25, which is 5. So my radius is 5. So now I have everything I need. I have my center. I have my radius. So now, you just got to remember the equation for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. There's r. All right. So in this case, it's x minus 1 squared plus y minus negative 2 squared, which you could write as y plus 2. And that's equal to 5 squared, right? And that is the equation for a circle. Some of you may be thinking, well, what else do I do with that? You don't have to do anything with it. That is it. That's all you have to do with it. So if the only question is asking you to do is write the equation for a circle, you've written the equation for a circle. So once again, to recap the things you need, you need the equation for a circle, which is y minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. You need the center of the circle, wherever that may be. You need some other point on the circle so that you can find the radius, which is what we did there. Now the other thing that could also happen is maybe you were told that the radius is 5, in which case you don't need the second point nor do you need to do the distance formula. You would just simply plug in the radius is 5, and there you go. I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have questions or comments, you can stick them in the comments. I encourage you to like and, and subscribe and come by for additional questions. Have a good day.